When did you know you wanted to act? <laughs> out of the womb. Where, where does it, where does it all start? Because yeah, we never had this conversation um, as to the seed that was planted many years ago. This is family television. Um, um, uh, I started dancing when I was six, um, and the teacher that I had at the time, Judith Mingus, um, was more um, into the, the, the performance aspect instead, uh, as opposed to technique. And so when I was very young, I got, I got into um, um, more performance than I did uh, actually learning the, 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 the basic techniques of, of ballet. And so then subsequently went on into school and got involved in theater and did plays and stuff and, and got into high school and did high school plays. My parents were involved in theater, um, and, but I was always, always a dancer, went to North Carolina School of the Arts, went to School of American Ballet. And then um, at the age of 17, I entered into a local modeling contest. <laughs> As you can see from this face, I won. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, I actually did win. <laughs> it's just really funny. Okay. And, uh, and went on to, 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 to start that. I moved to New York um, my, when I was a junior in high school. I do not advocate young children and not getting, getting, just, uh, quitting high school. It's not good. You um, quit high school. I did. Yeah. I, I went out of high school uh, between my junior and senior year. I had I was a, 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 a um, honor society student, um, which is, I think, part of the reason that my, my parents and my, my principal agreed to let me go and do this. It was always my intent to go and get a GED, which I never did. But um, <laughs> yeah, but and, you pursued your your dream. Yeah, you knew well, I knew early on exactly that, that's what you wanted. That summer, I in between my junior and senior year, I started working and I I, I got started booking commercials. Um, I was never really a model. I was way too short back in the 80s. It was you know, I mean the, the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> the early, early, no, no, it was like 2000, I think, I'm pretty sure. Um, you had to be six feet tall in order to be a model. And so I just, I ended up going out on commercial auditions and getting commercial auditions, and I booked a soap called Loving. And, um, and I did that with Luke Perry, funnily yeah. enough. Oh, and that's how we got our start. And uh, Well, and you do deserve history. a round of applause for season two of The Fosters, which yes. and picked up. Yes. Congratulations. Okay. We, can, yeah. we can do that. Yeah. Not premature. We're Crowd. It's uh, uh, unprecedented that that um, we were still we hadn't we had been just picked up for the second half of our first season. Mm -hmm. um, we shot ten episodes. We found out that we were picked up for the second half of our first season, and we were very very proud of that. And just right after that, we found out that they'd picked us up for an entire second season that which had never been done before. Oh. So we were stinking proud. Let, we're we we're sharing be. with our audience um, a scene from that you brought along with you. Mm -hmm. I saw it in a briefcase, so I know it's here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was locked. Up. It was locked in my arm. <laughs> Set it up for us. What are we about to see? Um, I, because of uh, circumstances that happened at the end of the first uh, half of the season, um, my partner Mike, he's my ex-husband, um, he's kind of from the force right now. He's a little, he's on probation, and I have to um, end up with a new partner, and he is quite a treat. Oh, that's, let's look icon? at your treat. Well, I got to be honest, I've never had a female partner. So so. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm fine with it. I appreciate the situation, you know, getting shot and all. But no partner of mine has ever taken a bullet. Anything else I should know? I drive. Uh, Captain Roberts, do you have a sec? Yeah. Um, how's the investigation going? You know, any word on Mike when he's coming back? Mm. Officially, uh, no word yet. And unofficially? Well, between us, I's clearing him soon. Okay. Uh, there is one other thing. Um, you don't really expect me to work with that sexless dinosaur, do you? Yes, I am. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank All you right. very much. You too. <laughs> She is at the end. Thank you. Thank you. She still says thank you. That's what she said about me the first day we worked together. <laughs> yeah, right. She went to Woody and said, you uh, don't yeah. expect me yeah. to work with that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no yeah. that's not true at all. No, that's what you said about... Did you say that about... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're you turned on. that and made it okay. a baddie on okay. me. Okay. Okay. Baddie. I have not seen you in, you know, a uniform because I always... Since the last started. time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how does it feel that? to be so authoritative? It's the worst thing in the entire world. Why? Oh, to be so authoritative. No, no, yeah. don't get me wrong. I love that. <laughs> love that. Well, you look very buttoned but, up. But it is. You kind of... It's kind of like this. This is... This is what it's like to go... <laughs> Because you've got all this, the, all your guns and stuff like that, and then the collar kind of like pushes your head forward, and you can kind of walk like a meathead. <laughs>
And, uh, and everyone's like, oh, you wear a cop uniform? How sexy. And I'm like, it ain't like that kind of cop uniform, trust me. And the pants come all the way up to here. It's like grandpa. I'm grandpa cop. Grandpa. Do you get a, you, do you get a chance to glam it up again? Because you're, no. you're a beautiful woman. Never, your hair Absolutely never comes not. down. Never. You yep. saw me. I looked like a, a skinned monkey. Yes. <laughs> well, you're still beautiful. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, but, well, but sweet. are you single? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not not at the moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, what are these you know, days? Because uh, when I said authoritative, does it? You know, you were like, yeah, I could be authoritative. You that way with the kids? With your kids? <laughs> Are you that because mom says so sort of? No, absolutely not. No? No. I call that authoritative type of parenting, and that's the way I was raised, and you see the result of that. Um, no, I was fortunate. The course of the time, I didn't believe myself to be very fortunate. I was going through a, a, a divorce, which is all wonderful now, um, and I was ordered to take a, a, a parenting class. And it was called Breakthrough Parenting by Jane Majors, um, and it is available for everyone to investigate. And it was one of the best gifts that I was given as a parent, because after all, they're not, they don't come with manuals, mind right. you. Well, and I was given the ability to communicate with my children. Through this course? Through, through this, this course. Book. Okay. Um, the whole premise is discipline with love. You give them choices. You give them explanations. Instead of saying, no, because I said so, and that's it, it's no. And this is why. Because if you do this, these are the consequences. This is what's going to happen. If you do this, this will happen. If you do this, this is what ha will happen. It's your choice. You are in charge of your own life and your own destiny, mm -hmm. not me. You can't get mad at me because, you know, you made me do this or whatever. No, no, no. You made the choice. Therefore, it is your decision. It was, um, I would like you to think about your decisions. It was not um, go to your room. It was, I would like you to go to your room and take a time out to think about the decision that you just made and perhaps how you could do it differently. Now, this takes a lot of energy yeah. and a lot patience. of time and patience. patience. Yeah. But let me tell you, my child at three years old would say to his uh, pre preschool teacher, um, I'd like to go, you know, wherever it was, I'd like to go over to the stool and think about and take a time out because I'd like to think about my decision. What child <laughs> says, I want to take a time out, you know? <laughs> I got to tell you, the preschool, the preschool teacher, Trisha, was, wrote in her notes, there's some very atypical language going on with this child. <laughs> <laughs> like, what we're doing here, you guys, this is backed by popular demand. Last year, these little sliders, everybody loved them. Everybody wrote about them all year long, and they've asked me to please make them again, along with these pork carnitas. And this is, this I know you love, because Mark, and who doesn't love slow cooked pork, and you pull it oh, apart, and then oh you can put it on a tortilla. I want to meet the with, person who doesn't. Who doesn't, okay. I don't trust them. Okay. Don't. At all. There you go. And you know, oh, is that, then if you have a little lid, we'll put a lid on it, although, because we want to melt the is that cheese. The slider dance. Yeah, Harry, it's the slider dance. dance. It's called avoid the grease at all, at all costs. It's a bigger there you go. The... But okay. Wait, why are they called sliders? Because they're, they're so little, they just slide oh. right in. Oh. That's because they're Did so you just make that up? You yeah. Probably yeah. made that Kinda. up. Kind of. Okay, so this this is really easy. You can have a Super Bowl party, Terry, with your family? <gasps> no. Okay, why not? <laughs> because I don't have enough time to do something like that. Okay, well, this is really easy. Okay. Okay, so look, I'm going to show I, you. Can I tell her when I asked you about the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to Mark's. I'm going to say, I'm going to What are you doing for the party? Super Bowl? She goes, I don't know. When is it? <laughs> 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 I well, love clearly. it when they hit the ball and they get it in the hole for the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, you're not a fan of uh, football. Okay, I'm going to just... Don't burn yourself. It. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. Now so, we take these off, right? No, not yet. We're going to just leave it on. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, here, oh let's boy. just put this on here. Put it on here for now. Now, while, while Terry's doing that, let me explain to you what you need to do. Please bring the sliders in. We got our sliders. Go to your butcher. Please, this will make all the difference in the world. Ask your butcher, take a chuck roast, a three or four pound chuck roast. Ask your butcher to grind it for hamburger. Okay, it makes all the difference in the world in the way the meat will taste, right? I think really? the butcher still exists. Like you ask this? Well, because mm. you, you're going to give him a big chuck roast. Yeah. If you do it, usually if I have the chuck roast ground once, I do it for 
for chili because it's a little chunkier. If you ask him to do it twice, it's for hamburger, and yeah. it'll be just the perfect consistency. So we have yeah. these yeah. Are be the official taster. Yes, are I they nice and hot? Well, wait, I want to get the taster chili. Yeah, this, yeah. Yeah. I want to give you. It says go. Wait, wait, wait. I want to give you a hot one then, if you're going to be a, an official taster. Hot bun. Yeah. By the way, yeah. hot buns. Here, here you go. I have never it's seen so pickles presented. Haley is just awesome. Look at this. Let me get pickles. I love a pickle. It is. Okay. So we're going a little backwards here. So let me show you. Wait before you taste it, because this is hot right out of the. It's what I like to do is put a little oh bit of God. ketchup on it and a pickle. <laughs> oh my okay? Do you like pickles? Lisa? Yes. Pickles. Okay. Oh yes. All right. So here it is. And what I did is I took the hamburger, or I like those Hawaiian king buns, and then There's you take, yeah. you, take buns. The you smash them down, and you take a two-inch cookie cutter or biscuit cutter, and then you, you know, you can, here it is right here. And look, Terry, you can do this. Oh, 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 yeah. Just oh, take it. Watch, so watch that. Yeah. Yeah. Smash it down. There you go. Oh, it's so cute. And that's that. a perfect what? idea. Okay. Perfect. And look at look how cute that is. Oh, oh look how cute. Look at that. Look, it's so cute. Perfect. Now here here it is. Take okay. a bite. It's nice sample. and hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It smells okay. fantastic. Okay. 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 All right. Smushing down. Oh, smushing down. Drum roll going. There is a okay. drum roll. Silence, please. Okay. Okay. Watch. Don't get your dress dirty. It's drippy. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. <laughs> It didn't slide down. It just slid right down. You have that's so good. Slivers. Slide Mark. Here. Slide away. Mark, here's a hot one, too. Let me give uh, Here, make one for... Oh, because that's a little cold, Mark. Here. And do you have... He no, doesn't care. Okay, he doesn't care. Really All right. So what care. you're going to do... Oh, my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. So good. So it's very easy. You just take... You make little patties. They're about an um, inch... They're two inches wide and about three quarters of an inch thick. And then you heat up your cast iron skin or, uh, skin, uh, skillet super... <laughs> or Skinner's, uh, super really, really, really hot. Put a little bit of olive oil in it and then put your uh, burger on it because what that'll do, because it's so hot, it'll sear the bottom. You want to make sure you sear all those mm -hmm. delicious juices Juicy. inside of it, yes. And then you cook it for about a minute to a minute and a half on each side, depending on how you like your burger. I like mine medium rare. You flip it over after the first time, add some cheese, it'll melt. And then we have these uh, pork carnitas, which, are, which is also very popular because everybody can make their own. Are you misbehaving? No, I'm, I'm going to have to arrest you. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like um, carnitas? Do you like? I love carnitas. Okay, this is my so favorite Mexican dish. I, it's mine too. So what we're gonna, we're going to make it right here. We'll take it. These are corn tortillas, nice and hot. Mm -hmm. You want to make one? Sure. Okay, and then I'm going to take some refried beans. Terry's put a little bit on here. On one, okay, you mm -hmm. can be the official taster. Take some of this. Uh, all, all the recipes, by the way, for the carnitas are on. It, it's on our website. Here's some for you over there. And then I like to add a little bit of coleslaw. The coleslaw is on our Ooh, website yummy. too because it adds a little bit of crunch. We have some really great guacamole. Again, it's on our oh, website. That's the best. And then we have some uh, salsa. I add a little bit of spicy salsa with a lot of jalapenos on it. And what's fun is everybody can make their own carnitas. You can add whatever you like in it. And there's some jalapenos. Pop this on, some sour cream. And this recipe is on wine. the website? Everything is on the website. Ooh. And by the way, the guacamole makes it. Oh, I just squirted wow. myself. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Party foul. Okay, so then you roll them up like that. There you go. And then you have. You take a, um, yeah, take a nice bite. big bite of that. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We are with Lisa Gibbons now. She co-hosts with Bill Rancic on the syndicated news magazine show, America Now. Just aired its 500 episode. 500 episodes. Congrats on that, Thank Lisa. you so That's much. Fantastic. There's so Yay. much it's there It's the most scrap. fun show. We're Although we are cooking and making scrapbooks on the show. Although yes. we have scrapbooked on America Now. We have. You have. I did some very compromising pages with Bill Rancic, but not like the photos I have of you. <laughs> Coming up. We are going to say a bit adieu to Oh, I'm sorry you have to leave us. She's Thanks for having adieu. me. Yeah. Will you come back? And do I absolutely will. I'm going to do some cooking. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you for having me. I will me. walk you out. You Thanks, guys Terry. get started. Bye. Hugs. Off you guys later. Oh, hugs. Oh, hugs. Hugs all around. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. So good to see you. Look at they got the same color palette going on. I know. On. I know. Right? Wow. Okay, out we go.